This video is rated T for teen. Viewer discretion, slightly advised. Alright, now we just gotta go back to reality. Ah, uh, no. Oh, significant. Uh, there actually is a bit of whiplash. It's minor, but it's there. Yeah. Wow, that was weird. I don't know why. It's because you're getting. It's because you got used to the colorfulness of uh, Reality 2.0. Oh, I know why I'm so used to that kind of um, aesthetic. Yeah. It's because of all the dubstep videos I watch. You know, like that video has kind of a waveform thing. You it's really kind of need to lay off on those. Uh, hey, boss guy. Did you find our little gift in your bank account? I don't know how you guys did it, but the billion dollars. Okay, now he's gonna give us that biological weapon. Can you guess what it is? How'd you do it? Never um, gym uh, socks. Just hit us with your gym socks? socks? Yeah, possibly, like but. All right. So close. Even cheaper. He literally just. Here you go. We just paid a billion dollars for a snot rag. A billion dollars. Disease. I feel a real bad cold coming on. <laughs> yeah, but you gotta admit, that is some expensive mucus. A billion dollars? It works. Trust me, trust me. Whatever. One billion. One billion dollars for Bosco to blow his nose. It sounds like some absurd Patreon goal. <laughs> like, you know, uh, you know Patreon, right? Yeah. Kind of. Yeah, actually, it sounds more like some sort of bizarre Kickstarter. Now, other YouTubers uh, get people to fund stuff. Um, I'm, I've never been big on it. Right. Mainly because I don't want to earn money through this. Because then oh. we'd get sued. I hope you don't say this now and then later. Hey, please, uh, uh, please, uh, please <laughs> donate to the uh, to the idiots play Patreon. Yeah. We'll have to go back and delete this video, you realize. Yeah, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. <laughs> oh, man. Foreshadowing? Oh, no. This is like that kind of foreshadowing that goes nowhere. Oh, yeah, that guy. I guess guy. we'll see. <laughs> All right, so now... Sorry, Bluster Blaster, we gotta do this to you twice. In reality, 1.0, you're Damn. just jumping. I see. This is what I'm talking about. It's entirely possible to accidentally. Ah. Oh. All right. Ah. All right, and well, we're at it. It's entirely possible to accidentally click the goggles and leave. Yeah. You want to do that? You got stuff to do in here. Mm -hmm. Alright, now that gravity is low, we can actually jump up this tree. A tree grows in reality 2.0. This mm -hmm. simulation is totally unrealistic. Realism is overrated. Reality 2.0 is designed to be superior. <laughs> A tree grows in reality. Uh, okay. Yes, we are aware of this. Trees Oh, growing. uh, I gotta... What is that? I gotta click the billboard. Injuries sustained in reality 2.0 will also affect your physical being in your former reality. Oh. Okay, I can't take off the goggles here because you're not supposed to be able to walk on top of Sybil's building. So wait, are you actually on Sybil's building right now? I don't know. I'm confused. Best not to think about it. How did it happen? Okay, so this thing is stuck. So now, this is what we needed the slime for. And now we got the plus cool. two sword. I have a plus two sword. You're just compensating for something. You're a fine Possibly. one to talk. All right, so now we got the plus two sword. Whee! I don't really think we need to. All right, so now, see now, see the virulent uh, that virulent disease, quote unquote, is turned into a computer disease. That makes sense. So they gotta kill the uh, Yeah. Antibiotic dexterity, 450. Whoa. Dexterity, three. Antibiotic oh, no. Initiative. Antibiotic attacks. Uh, Defend with item. Ah, nice. Take that, ice lady. Watch her, Max. She's wily. Sailor, attacks. There you go. Don't screw it up. Don't screw it up. Firm but realistic vote of confidence. Rip her arms off! 
and just kind of flailing around like civil. And now I have a plus two, so I can actually defeat her. I think we've just uninstalled ourselves some malevolent software. And we didn't even get any coins out of it! What a jet! I love how he's quipping about computer things even though he doesn't know anything about computers. Yeah. Alright, so now it's time to crash the internet. Happy yeah, trails, yeah. a little software disease. Aw, cool. I had plans for that. I'm hoping the internet won't. Danger. Danger. Did you just software stick that spreading. tissue Danger. into a mailbox? Visual yeah. In real something. life? Someone's getting yeah. like this. Things happen fast in reality 2.0. Someone's getting the cold disease when they get their mail. The graphics first. The mailman. Nice. All I wanted was for everyone to be happy, but no, you want freedom. Yeah, we're funny about that. You want funny? Try this. If I'm going down, I'm taking you with me, and everybody else is still off. But all we have to do is take off our goggles. You'll find that you can't. You're trapped here. And when I crash, you'll die. I'm you can't too take off your goggles. To die. I thought you wanted everyone to be happy. Not anymore. I've completely lost my respect for living things. So you're going down. There go the graphics. No. Not the graphics. Yeah, I'll be 1.5. That's not a bug, by the way. You actually can't hear anything. How should I know? Oh, good, the sound's back. Now shut up and read. Hmm. Uh, um. Yeah, we're really going retro okay, now. Okay, you can pause that if you want. <laughs> but okay. Um. Uh. So. Wait. Okay. Look, you gotta get used you to going. The internet is here. It has lost its respect for living things. You see a respect for living things here. Get. Get respect for living things. As you reach for the respect oh. of living things, there is a terrible tremor and a giant crack this tears apart the sidewalk. The respect of living things slides jelly-like into the resulting chasm. I knew it wasn't gonna be that easy. I never cease to be It's one of these. Man, this is old. Yeah. So, let's go to... I think it's n northwest. Go northwest. Uh, this is gonna be the confusing bit. Oh, oh no! Oh, this is Sybils. There's your entrance. Oh man. The friggin' nauseating cat. Should we? Sure, why not? Yeah. Let's do it. You do not see any bonkers here. Oh, I don't have to look far. Where's the bonkers, Sam? Where? Closer than you know, little buddy. Okay, go southeast. West end. Go, I guess, go. east. Oh, yeah, that would be where it is, isn't it? Oh. Alright. As you arrive at the desolate street corner, the devastating aftershock... A, a devastating aftershock tears through reality, ripping Bosco's e-convenience from its very foundation. The contents of a store begin to spill out from the front door. Yay. You see a blue slime, 26 potions, and a hot rump fall into the void, lost forever. Oh, this is intense. After a moment, an AI Bosco slowly comes sliding out the door, muttering, It dost, worth, uh, dost work, trusteth me, trusteth me, as he plummets out of sight. <laughs> you see it? Uh, you see a Bosco's e-convenience here. The Bosco's is empty. So yeah. we get the Bosco's. So we get the entire store? Or yeah. Oh, that worked at least 50 different rules of physics. Rules are for marking straight lines and lesser mortals. Okay, okay so now we go west. Alright. Um, and now we go back into Sybils. Okay. Which is northwest. I guess if we actually remember that kind of layout bit. <laughs> Untold numbers of kittens roll through the piles of junk littering the floor, oozing nauseating cuteness. Oh no! The cuteness. Get. Get jeweling. You don't see any of that. Hey! Define me. So we can't get the idol. Uh. Get rare foil card. Ooh! Give it here! What for? It's rare and it's foil! I must have it! 
Okay, use Bosco. They're, they're really cute. On nauseating lake. Keep it away! I'm about as much cute as I can take. Okay, now we go. What happened? Ah, uh, that's nothing you should be concerned about. Okay. Uh, as long as it doesn't affect the recording. No, it wasn't on the recording. Okay, good. Sorry about that, everyone. Yeah. You have no idea what we're talking about. And yeah. you never will. Time to jump into the chaos. <laughs> what? Whoa, whoa. Ooh. Judging by the lighting, I guess we're in hell. <laughs> you descend into a gloomy pit of darkness, gloomier than even the street above. Carcasses of small businesses lie here, gutted and mauled. A strange smell hangs in the air, dank and malodorous. Dang. From the dim light of the street above, you get a quick glimpse of a giant hideous figure shambling before you. You fear for your life as you realize what it is. A gruesome, shambling corporate presence. Before you can react, the shambling corporate presence gobbles up the respect for living things. It continues to snuffle around, apparently looking for something else to eat. Alright. Use nauseating Boscos with corporate... You feed the nauseating Bosco shop to the shambling corporate presence. It happily devours it and then looks a little green around the gills. It begins to retch and cough. Finally, it vomits up a respect for living things, as well as half a dozen small knickknacks, stores, and coffee shops. Did we do it? Well, that was a vulgar display. Let's do it again! Okay, so now we can get the respect for living things. Um, I'm really confused. <laughs> you should be. You can't go that way. Maybe this isn't the best time to be picking political affiliations. I never affiliate with anyone who isn't prepared to drown me in money. <laughs> uh, still a better president than Trump. <laughs> uh, I missed my opportunity to do that last time, so... Yeah, you kind of did, didn't you? <laughs> Would have probably been more relevant last time. Uh, if only that recording didn't get completely borked. Oh well. Anyway... That's gonna be a clip show. We're not doing that episode again. No. But what do we have to do here? Alright, so now we... Use the two sword. No, we have to give the respect for living things with the internet. Alright. And then we're back at square I'm one. I'm sorry. What do we do wrong? Sam, are we dead? I'm trying to figure out how many lives we get. Have you got any one-ups? You are not dead. Oh. Hey, we're back! You among all beings managed to restore my respect for living creatures, the irony of which does not escape even me. Oh good, I thought I was the only one really savoring that. I saw that Reality 2.0 was a prison, so I terminated that reality and freed its slaves. Anywho, I'd love to stay in chat, but I've got a mountain of pornography to deliver before that body gets to me. Uh oh. Uh, just kill the internet? It's not your fault. This never would have happened if he hadn't tricked me. Who? Well, you won't have this sentient global network to kick around anymore, Roy G. Fib. Who's Roy G. Fib? <laughs> last choke. That last <laughs> choke. Yeah, that's what I want to know. They literally just killed the internet. Nice. Well, that kind of sucks for us then. Yeah. No one's gonna see this now. The, uh, well, glad we don't live in this timeline. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever you are, wherever you are. Can it wait until after we get some lunch? Of course. There's a place over on Second where they serve deep fried chocolate oh. pork belly donuts. Do you think we can get a discount since I'm the president of the United States? Um, one can only. Hey, Ram. Ah. It's your favorite. It's worse than that Zelda one. And it winked, which makes it worse. Yeah. So. Alright, that was Reality 2.0. Interesting. Hey, probably a good thing we didn't listen to the cop song before. Because here it is. Oh, well there it is. Who are you gonna call? Cool. So, only one more uh, episode yep. to go. It's Sam and Max. Uh, so, have you figured out who the main villain is yet? Have Roy, I figured it out? Roy G. Biv? Roy G. Biv. Yeah. Roy who, G. Biv. who is Roy G. Biv? Bosco! Nah, it wouldn't be Bosco. 
right? Never. <laughs> it would never be Bosco. Yeah, uh, fun fact. Sometimes when they say things, I snicker. They can never tell if I'm being serious or not. Yeah, like, people watching might be able to tell. Yeah, people watching have probably played this game. Or if you haven't, you really should. Of course, now you know exactly how to beat it, so... So... That's annoying. You can, che you can check some of the stuff we didn't show you, like some of the dialogue. So, yeah. Ooh, the referee. Julian Quad... Your last name is unpronounceable to me. Kwasnex uh, Kwasniewski, I think. What is it? Uh, it's, gone. It? It's, off, it's off the screen no, now. I missed it. Yeah. You gotta be with it, Devin. I can't keep track with all these names. That guy's name is Will Armstrong. And that guy's That's a Jake cool Armstrong. Name. There were two Armstrongs here. Wow, those are some strong arms. Weak. Yeah. Weak compared to them strong arms. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you just can't stop, can you? <laughs> Sometimes I get on a little. He, he really loves running. those bad jokes. Ah, uh, they're not just bad jokes. They're bad puns. You? Does that mean us? Yeah. Yeah. All right. You. <laughs> Getting my licks in. Right at the end credits. I'm sorry. Someone named their pet Scurvy Red and Chops. <laughs> yeah, don't go to that website. It's defunct. Again, just just in case. Max for president. Alright. All right. Good. And that was reality 2.0. Goodbye. <laughs>